Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing five must-have GPTs that every developer needs to help them save at least 10 hours a week. And to help make your life even easier, I'm gonna be providing links down below to each one of these GPTs, and I'm also going to be sharing the prompts to help you recreate these GPTs so that you can customize them yourself later on. All right, let's go ahead and dive into the first one. So the first GPT that every developer needs is a Ghostwriter GPT version of themselves. This will allow you to write Slack messages, emails, and text messages that sound just like you, but only take a fraction of the time. So in my case, I created Brandon's Ghostwriter GPT, and I was able to create this by uploading a ton of content that I've previously written in the past. So I've uploaded emails, Slack messages, Twitter posts, YouTube replies, YouTube transcripts, and blog posts that I've previously written so that this GPT can get trained on my writing style and my communication styles with others. From there, what I'm able to do is pass in some sort of content, a bulleted list of how I'd like to respond, and this GPT will do the rest. So let me show you how this works in action. So let's pretend that I receive a comment on YouTube where someone is asking for support to where they're basically saying like, hey, I tried to access your source code, but I'm having troubles. Well, what I could do is come in and say, hey, I see that you signed up on ConvertKit. I saw that the email was sent. So just go ahead and try and check your spam folder. And then let's just see how this GPT works. So this, like I said, this takes seconds for me to do, but obviously I want to, you know, respond professionally and make sure that I'm making sure that I'm meeting everyone's needs. So let's go ahead and look at a response that this GPT was able to create. So, hey there, thanks for reaching out. I'm glad you found this explanation helpful. I've checked on my end and it looks like things successfully signed up on ConvertKit according to our, our records. An email was sent to you about two hours ago. Sometimes this can sneak into spam folder, so I recommend checking there. If you still can't fix it, no worries. Just shoot me a message and I'll get the rest of the source code that you need. Cheers, Brandon Hancock. So it knows who I am. It also knows my writing style. I am very happy-go-lucky kind of guy. I'm also like, hey, I'll take responsibility for the situation and very like, you know, non-confrontational is probably a, a great word to use. So this is very like, hey, just go, go check over here. This is exactly how I would sound if I wrote this out myself, but this would have taken me a few minutes to write, whereas previously it just took me a few seconds to bullet out what I wanted to say. So what I'm gonna do is if you go ahead and look in the description below, I will actually have this prompt down below. And what you can do is copy it and then you can come over into your own GPT, upload this prompt here, and then you can tweak it to make it sound like you. So you'll change the name, and then you'll also come down here and change out your own content documents, such as your previous emails and Slack messages, so that this same GPT will actually sound just like you. And if you want to uh, sound like me for whatever reason, I'll actually also provide a link down below so you can actually try out Brandon's Ghostwriters yourself before you go on and make your own. So that's a wrap for this first one. Let's go ahead and work on the second. So the second GPT that every developer needs is some sort of senior engineer co-pilot to help them build their projects. And I've seen a lot of engineers get this wrong, so let me show you how we're gonna set this GPT up properly. First, we're gonna let our GPT know the exact technologies we're going to be using for our projects. Not only that, we're also gonna specify the exact versions that we're gonna be using for these different technologies because sometimes you'll notice when you get a response, it will recommend something that's actually outdated. And that's why we have to provide as many constraints and clarifications as possible so that whenever our GPT does give us a response, we already know that we're working with the most valid information and we're not gonna to have to go back and forth two or three times to actually get after the information we're looking. So now whenever I tell it to like, hey, create a nav bar that with like a red YouTube logo in the top left and a sign in button on the right, it's already going to go ahead and use the previous context that I provided and go ahead and spit out that code. And what's gonna be great is I could actually go ahead and pretty much just copy in the final code that's generated because I've already had it set up to work exactly with my project. So. This is amazing. This one trick alone will save you so much time. And as developers, I think it's important to mention, we need to follow the dry principle. And what I mean by that is if you ever find yourself coming back to your senior engineer co-pilot having to tweak stuff constantly, that's the exact moment when you should go, ah, oh, I need to come back over to my co-pilot and start telling it like, hey, you keep suggesting this, but I don't like this. I would prefer if you started to provide more examples maybe don't use this type anymore, you know, something basically to where you don't have to continue to repeat yourself as you continue to work with this GPT. But yeah, so that's a wrap for this second GPT and let's go ahead and move on to the third. 
And the third GPT that every developer needs is a professional test engineer GPT. And the reason I love this one so much is because it's not really helping me save a ton of time today, but it's helping me save a ton of time tomorrow by making sure that the code that I do write is at the highest qualities, making sure I'm following the best principles and practices when it comes to writing code. And it's also searching through my code to make sure that I'm not introducing any code smells, making sure that I'm also not introducing bugs and making sure what I do write is readable and maintainable. When applicable, it'll also help write some unit tests for me so I don't have to keep coming back to my code to make sure that it's bug free. So I love this one test engineer GPT and you definitely need to add it to your arsenal if you're not already using it. So that's right for this one and let's go to the next. And the fourth GPT that every developer needs is the Goal Aspiration Process Coach, also known as the Gap Coach. And the reason I'm such a fan of this GPT is that it allows you to gain clarity on what you need to be doing next as a developer. Personally, I found when I do not have clarity on my goals, I end up spending hours doom scrolling on YouTube, or I just can't get out of the bed early in the morning to start working on stuff because, hey, why the heck should I get up? I don't know. But the second that I do follow this Gap Coach, I know exactly what I need to be doing when I wake up because I've already defined my aspiration, I've defined my short term goals, and I know the process that I need to be working on daily and weekly to help me achieve it. So just to give you guys a better example, let's just say your aspiration was to replace your full time income on YouTube. Well, your mid short term goal for the next one to three months could be to hit like 20 to 10,000 followers. And that means your process could be well, hey, that means I need to crank out two YouTube videos every week. So that means every time you wake up or have free time, you know exactly what you need to be doing. I need to crank out this many YouTube videos to help me reach my goals, which will help me eventually reach my aspiration. So I'm a huge fan of this one. And if you find yourself in like a, eh, I'm not sure what I need to do. This is the GPT that you need to do. So I hope you guys like this one. Let's go on to the last one. And the fifth and final GPT that every developer needs is going to be a tech news curator. And the reason this GPT is going to be so important is it's going to help prevent you from spending hours doom scrolling on YouTube, Twitter, and Reddit trying to find the latest trends in AI. It's also going to help you prevent you from going down the rabbit hole. I know whenever I'm on news sites, you end up going down some sort of political rabbit hole, getting all worked up, and there's nothing that you can do about it. But with this tech news curator, you can specifically hone in on the topics that you are interested about and only receive news about these specific topics. So I love that it saves me time and it keeps me in a clear headspace so I don't get all, all riled up about what's going on in the world. But I think every developer should have this to make sure they're staying informed, but they're not going down rabbit holes or getting all worked up. So that's my wrap guys. So let's go ahead and do a recap of what we just saw. So now you guys know how to write faster, code faster, test faster. Heck, you even have your own new personal coach and curated AI news list. These GPTs are amazing and I guarantee they'll save you at least 10 hours a week with all these new automations. And if you found this video helpful, you'll definitely want to check out the rest of my YouTube channel where I have a ton of AI related tutorials and content. And you're also going to want to check out this other video on my channel that YouTube's suggesting right now. I'm sure you're going to love it, but I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.